evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the second edition of B Moon News Night. I'm Nicolas Schmidt. And I'm Alexia Mappes. As the debate in the Council of the European Union intensified, the delegates decided to conclude today's proceedings with a press conference. It seems that the Consilium has been working quite productively, since they already have a draft resolution to be finalized and voted upon tomorrow. As the BMU news reporters found out during the Q&A, the main parties to the deal include Germany, France and Finland. However, it became apparent that most of the delegates agreed on the contents of the motion. Only Denmark mentioned a minor compromise on their part. Poland and Italy also stated their views. Even though the journalists got to find out only a few details about the actual contents, the resolution apparently deals with the work of Frontex, the EU border control agency, as well as the stadium of asylum seekers and the possible introduction of an EU white green card. The Security Council announced a press statement as well, but the debate took an unexpected turn, causing them to cancel in the last minute. We'll hopefully have more to report tomorrow. In other news, the ECOSOC and the CCPCJ convened jointly today. As they were discussing the issue of ecological crimes, the delegates seemed to be focusing on economic data rather than discussing sanctions or other prevention schemes. As several working papers are currently in writing, we might be expecting draft resolutions soon. As the ECOSOC is a trilingual body, there is a team of interpreters with whom we had a chance to talk with behind the scenes. If you're not busy with BIMUN, uh, which other conferences are you working in? Well, normally we're studying. That's our main occupation. Um, I participated in Model European Union in Strasbourg, which is similar in a way to BIMUN. Um, and then we work at all kinds of um, occasions where you can interpret. And uh, what are your active working la uh, languages? My languages are um, Spanish and English, but there is um, my um, English is a B language that means that I can work into English and from English as well, mm -hmm. and um, that's usually not the case in on such a conference. Would you like to work at the UN, or what kind of special uh, field would you like to work in? The UN would be definitely very interesting. Um, unfortunately, German is not an official language. That means that our opportunities without French or Russian or something like that in our combination are quite limited. But it would definitely be very interesting for us to work at the UN. Very similar to hers. Um, it's more likely that I work or could work in one of the European institutions as the UN requires um, native speakers of um, English and all the other working languages, so that excludes any German native speaker, and yeah, unfortunately. Is it difficult for you to focus both on the topic they're discussing and on your simultan translating? How do you cope with that? It's absolutely necessary, because without analyzing the content, you can't, you can't do a translation or an interpretation. Mm -hmm. You could probably um, do it in a way that people would understand it, but it wouldn't be a proper interpretation. So it's absolutely necessary. Finally for today, the delegates of the UNDP witnessed a training for tonight's karaoke session at Fiddler's Pub. What was meant as a punishment for the tardy delegates turned out to be a punishment for us listeners. We hope you have more fun tonight. How do you speak to that horse? What does a fox say? What does a fox say? So you can see that not only the chairs have their hands full, but there's also a lot of pressure on other furniture. Just ask the mayor to confirm that. This was BMO News Night. Be a model. Be united. Be moon.